Coach, a very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks, as the Vikings get set to do battle with the Atlanta Falcons. So happy to be with you, Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis, and with things winning 19 of those games. But maybe the most memorable game between the two was a Falcons victory. That was in the NFC Championship game back in January of 99. Gary Anderson missed a field goal to potentially win it at the end of regulation. And then the Falcons. Third and long for Cousins. He'll let this go for the end zone. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no selected free agents, and you never know what you're going to get. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago. Really, it grades out as a pretty darn good class. Let's so you have go, to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting organization. Now on second and 13, Cousins. It's complete to Diggs. Now whistles and a timeout. Boom. Looks like we've got a Viking yeah, slow baby. to get up. Boy, not what you want to do. the 26-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. And he will score. Touchdown, Viking. Big tackles and gain extra yardage. They'll try and run for the Smith. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. The first run for the backup of Doolin. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a game before the game. He was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. They're able to convert on third down. They'll try to throw now. Cousins. And Rudolph has got it. The big tight end for a Viking touchdown. Cousins again. Setting up the screen for Cook. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 30. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. They haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? The throw over the middle, taken in. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Mohamed just a yard, leaves him with a very manageable second and one. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. Fights through him. Nice pick, nice pick. Wait, hot, hot. To throw, Cousins. The quick slant caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kirk Cousins with... Come get some. Come on here, come get some. Wait, hot. They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. Now the ball comes loose, and the Falcons grab it, and they will take over at the 29-yard yeah, line. Yeah, baby. Well, spacing and run fits, and these creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he's got Sanu, and he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one will go down. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. Throw right side caught by Ridley. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down in. Guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And he's brought down. Another good game. Exclusive club, and one we talk about all the time. In football, put you in the... And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Third and long for Cousins. To the right side, complete to Taylor. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Cousins. That's going to be caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 
twice. But I open think that second down is the time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. You enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him. A perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Everson Griffin picks up his second. Here's Ryan to throw. You ain't doing nothing to Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Daniil Hunter able to disrupt yet another pass play. The Falcons will go for it. It's Ryan. And they will not be a with this deficit. If they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance. Touchdown, Vikings! Stephon Diggs, 34 yards. As he Ryan. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it. Gary Anderson missed a field goal to potentially win it at the end of regulation. And then the Falcons would get the victory in OT 30-27. to And they were off to the Super Bowl. But forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. D hold up one more time. Third and goal. Here's Ryan. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Daniil Hunter, who else? He's in there. And to say, real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football, yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play, and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now, it's the front-line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason, <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for Minnesota, that'll be a happy locker room as they start the season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.